So, is this a smoothie with all the trimmings or just a milky tea? Nah, it's past everyone. Oh. Oh. Hey, well done. Hard work paid off. Thanks. <laughs> so we're going puppy shopping later or what? <laughs> no, we're not. No, I've decided some new trainers instead. Well? Failed. Except for food and nutrition. Well, that's something. Don't worry, all right? You can reset them all. Yeah, of course you can. Saw your Insta. Nice one. Hey, I'm so sorry. If I'd have just realised about me or picked up on the clues and this would have ended so differently. I feel partly responsible. It's fine, miss. Who wants to be a doctor anyway? Oh, hey, Brenda. Look at this. Absolutely roaring. So don't go overboard on your evening opening just yet. I thought you were condemned. Well, a pub is more than just a building. Have you ever heard of atmosphere? Probably not. Oh, uh, uh, you three are uh, sticking with me because it's um, results day happy hour. Just made that up. Maybe. Sorry, Brenda, but we fancy a cold one. No offence. Yeah, fresher out here, isn't it? Yeah, and we've got a fridge and a wind chime. You know, outside is the new inn. We're loving it, aren't we, Jimmy? We certainly are. Which usually you love it? Oh, yeah, mine's a plastic. So the brains of the family. Only pass some exams. Uh, now you've got it sus. You can pass a little more, can't you? It's a second chance, is. Explain to me again the newfangled grades. It's going to be fine. Look, I only got through this because of you two. And once the judge gets your pre-sentence report, they'll realise exactly how much we need you. Let's hope so. Yeah. Jacob. Commiserations, I assume. We still going to celebrate with Liana, though. Yep, according to her social media feed, there's a whole gang of them in town taking selfies with their exam slips and screaming. Do you fancy that? Look, they're just exams. No one asks adults about GCSEs, ever. Don't worry about it. Honestly, this time next year will be fine. I wish this was about my exams. So, come on, then. If it's not being a part of the one GCSE club, then... What is it? Priya threw herself at me. What? She asked me up to a house for lunch. Started dissing me at saying what a catch I was. And she told me I needed to find a new girlfriend. And she put a hand on my knee. Well, she wasn't a minute like that. She did. I could tell by the way she was looking at me, talking. I'm not stupid, Liv. Right, well, you can't keep a secret. You've not learned anything. So whatever did or didn't happen, you need to tell your dad. Come on. Jacob. Priya, we believe you. I am not saying that you were coming on to him, but you do know this is the last thing we need right now. <clears throat> You've told him. I've got nothing to hide, Jacob. But I'm really sorry if I confused you. I'm for talking about love and girls and relationships, but I meant it to help. I didn't have an agenda. See? Told you. I'll leave you to it, yeah? <laughs> 